Vankers, before we get into this amazing episode with Noel Miller, we have to tell you about our live show. We are going to be in Austin the whole weekend, but more specifically Sunday night, October 22nd at 9 p.m., doors at 8 at the Vulcan Gas Company. We are going to do a live show recapping the Austin GP, talking all things this season, Austin, everything. We might have some cool stuff that we're going to be talking about that I can't tell, talk to you about right now. So be there. Get your tickets. The link will be in the description. Also, before we get to the episode, we got to thank our daddies of the pod. We got to thank Kayla, Robin, Jordan Texera, Jay Lingle, Spencer Grieve, Javier Mera, Sheila Valeri, Chandler, Luana Galbano, Ali Santana, Carla Warlow, Kimberly Whalen, Alonso Over My Face, 69, Donya Denod, Jimmy, Muhammad Patel, Kimmy, sponsored by Mommy of the Pod, Hollister584, Liv Lot, Cat, Future Dog Toward Dion, Steph Grossi, JB Fresh, and Laura. You become a daddy of the pod by going to patreon.com slash TRF pod and signing up. Up. Okay, now to our interview with Noel Miller. What's up, Van guys? What's up, Van guys? Oh, I, I jumped you. Usually yeah, start. Yeah, but you're so excited. I'm fucking at... pumped, yeah. dude. I'm really pumped. Too. I'm pumped. We we have just like a, a legend of many spaces on the yeah. pod today. <laughs> yeah. You know, like Thank a you. jack of like a jack, a jack and, of all... and arguably a master, a master of many of trades. trades. You know, yes. some people are jacks of all trades, yeah. masters of none. But our guest today. Is not like that. We have Noel Miller on the podcast. Thanks for having me, fellas, folks yeah. listening. Who are whoever you are, wherever you are, appreciate you. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, all our all the Gen Z people that work with us had a, like a literal meltdown. Uh-oh. They found out about that you were coming on. They're like that fucking old guy from <laughs> that's cringe. I feel no, like I feel like because I think we're like around the same age, but I feel like it's like you you you've existed as like Gen Z's like internet big brother. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's like you, you like you guys like you and Cody like existed as this like, you know, we're talking shit about the stuff that like the young people can't talk shit about yet. Yeah. So they were yeah. like, oh, it's like my fun, cool older brother as opposed to like my shitty, toxic older. I'll brother. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. right. I no, feel like that's the I'm that's honored. the vibe. Yeah, no, they, I told I told um, our intern Isa that that we were like the same age, and she was like, no, he must be younger than. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, damn, You're like, damn, I'm massively like, immature. Yeah. He's more plugged in. Yeah. He knows more about yeah. what's fucking <laughs> happening. But um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, like. I, I've been following your stuff for like a few years now, and and sure, then man. and then as we got into this F one space, I was like, oh shit! Like, he's yeah. a super into F one, and B like fucking palling around with the drivers, like, <laughs> twitching with the <laughs> driver, barely. But you know, like during 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 COVID, it was yeah, like yeah, really yeah. going on. So I was like, you know, we had to get him on. Yeah. No. So what's what's your F one like journey? Man. Um. I need to take a big sip of water because yeah. it's a big backstory. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I was always like passively interested in motorsport. I have like a really deep memory of my dad taking me to like a local race and um, a car flipping, and the differential was like the car was flipped and the differential was like burning orange, and they mm. thought the car was gonna blow. And I remember sitting in the stands like, "Dad, we're gonna die," and he's like, "No, nah, we're good." And I don't know why. Like since then, like I. For some reason, I think that whole experience just like hammered my interest in cars weirdly. It's just like the near death experience. Yeah, yeah, just like some I don't know core memory thing. And then, uh, so I think I've always like kind of passively kept in touch with F one. Like I was watching a bit in like 2014, 2015, just kind of fell off. And then uh, did a lot of like sim at home though, just yeah. you know, uh, kind of like exercising that interest. And then obviously um, pandemic hit, and then I just like trying to be an idiot i tried to or i killed someone in call of duty with a steering wheel um, yeah i saw that <laughs> yeah, yeah, i saw that yeah yeah, yeah 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 so i'd seen that before i saw a dude way back in the day he used a steering wheel to play counter-strike and so i hadn't seen anyone do that in a while so i was like oh that'd be funny so i got the kill and then uh i got hit up to do a virtual race with lando and i wasn't actually that current on like the driver line up at that point yeah i hadn't yeah. followed for some years so after i did that then i went and watched drive to survive to like you know get caught up and um yeah definitely reignited my interest in a in a big way and, and you know just happened to be around the corner from like one of the best seasons of all time so yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he's an he's a drive to survive fan yeah he's a fraud. that's yeah. that's that's oh, yeah, all fraud yeah 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 i mean yeah that was our we we we, we didn't care at all about it yeah like we're like new york kids didn't care about motorsport like at mm-hmm. all yeah. and then pandemic try to survive and we're like is this our new life yeah and yeah it quite literally yeah. is yeah man 
yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's 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 uh, once once it hooks you, and and twenty twenty one was yeah, like that was the worst. I mean, it was it year. was the greatest year of all time. Yeah, yeah. but if we got in a year earlier, we would have just gone we wouldn't have had a podcast lot, yeah. if we started yeah. watching it. Yeah. Yeah. If we yeah. watched the twenty twenty season, we would have oh. been like, oh, we're not here right now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. What was what was your experience watching? Like, who were you pulling for? Anyone? Were you like on like? I like the story. Yeah, I wanted Lewis to do it. Yeah, just because yeah, yeah. I think it'd be great. Yeah, and uh, when people get you know. I know saying that is like, I guess in football, that'd be like, I want the Pats to do it again. You know, it's like irritating yeah, yeah, for people, right, right. you know, during Brady's reign. But yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, so I, I was pulling for him and then obviously the inevitable happened. And, yeah. and uh, I don't know. I, but now what I like is I like the, the blood feud now. Yeah. The Crips <laughs> and the blood yeah, yeah, of, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, of the Mercedes yeah, Red Bull. Yeah. 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 No, it's it's yeah, like it's it's, it's a touchstone. Like yeah. you know, it's like it's it's palpable. If you yeah. ever throw your hat into the arena, like one side is gonna yeah. fucking hate you. Yeah, because we've been on Max. This, I mean, we've been like loving Max this season. Yeah, just like kind of like in awe of the greatness. Sure. Yeah. So then you know you have the like Team LH being like, of course, just like Dick riding Red Bull. There yeah. you go. Yeah. But then we and then on our, one of our episodes we were like talking about like you know George edging out. You know, uh, Lewis edging out George this year, and yeah. how like yeah, like George, like Lewis is still that guy. Yeah, and then the and then there's like people, the Red Bulls, like oh, okay, there you go, sucking Lewis off. Just yeah. like, click. Yeah. Like, they're both fucking amazing. Yeah, not just like yeah. love yeah. them both. Yeah, yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two things can exist. Two things yeah. can exist. They can both be great. And that yeah. that's the same thing with our political system. Guys. <laughs> that's right. There can be something can be learned. Yeah, from we there. could have two Trumps. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what JK, we've always said JK. is that Trump should be Trump should get out of politics and get into Formula One. That's where like billionaires who like sh- are stu- stupid billionaires uh, should yeah. own Formula could One teams. Imagine, they shouldn't be like making policy. Could yeah. you imagine Trump and Lawrence Stroll just getting into it? That would that'd be, be great. A, that'd be amazing. Yeah, to drive to survive. Yeah, if Trump if Trump owned a team, that'd be something. Like when when yeah. Latifi went out, it's like oh he was a necessary wild card to uh-huh. fuck shit up. Like, uh-huh. Without Latifi, right. you don't get that. Not, Matt, yeah, I mean. All so, we have is Sergeant now. All we have is Sar- no Sergeant's doing a great job at that. <laughs> yeah, you know he's yeah he's he's our he's our Latifi. He's, he's the only which is Joker necessary. Card. You need it because you, otherwise it gets too predictable. I have a funny story about yeah. Logan Sergeant. Okay, okay. So when he was in, um, uh, I can't. Remember, I'm pretty sure it was F two. Uh-huh. Yeah, F two. Yeah. And I was doing my F one podcast. Uh, I have a friend who races GT three, and he put me in touch with Logan. And I was like, Yo, man, would you want to do like a segment for my show? And he goes, yeah, sure. So we did it on Discord, and the whole time he didn't believe that I had an F one show, despite me like, oh yeah, this is like this is where the episodes are. He had like this skepticism about him, and <laughs> the whole thing went so odd that I just never put it out there. Because <laughs> he at the very end he's like, so wait, like you you do this like week like he just didn't believe that i did this weekly right does he not know what like about content creators like i don't understand i don't know like i think i think he was you know in his <laughs> career i don't think he had ever been hit up to do an outlet uh uh-huh. like really ever oh so he had like imposter syndrome yeah so i think he, he was, like, was kind of like uh why would why me like right. why do you care about me i'm not right. an f1 interesting. and i'm like oh you're coming up like yeah kind of interesting story wow. you know and i was just trying to yeah so well, it's like it's like that's like the Schultz Nel- Nelk boy thing, mm, just a unreleased bit. podcast. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's yeah, the yeah. opposite because it's not gonna... a guy. It's a guy being like, "No, like I'm not good enough." Yeah, <laughs> and yeah the other yeah. one's like, yeah. "Why do you think you're so great?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, w- would you release it? No, 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 no. no, no. It's no. just it, you're like it's just rough. Yeah, it's just like yeah. a tough yeah. interview. <laughs> I, I'd rather. I mean, like you know, it, it'd be it'd be better to talk to him now before yeah. anything to laugh about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely Yeah, not. he's definitely <laughs> laughing about his F1 career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I think, nah, I think nah. like 20 years from now. He wasn't yeah, coming yeah. in with the, uh, the the Miami intro energy yeah. when he was like, America, let's fucking go! And yeah. then immediately is like in last place uh, by 40 God. seconds. Poor guy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what, what's your what's your feeling on a rookie? Do you, th- do you think he... Do you think he deserves another year? Well, I know that, yeah, like that's like the big thing. Right, like, right. He was promoted early. Yeah. yeah. Um... In a, in a way, I do. I think, I mean, this is probably not a revolutionary thing to say, but the pressure is so brutal. Yeah. And, like, I'm, he's seeing all that press. Like, it's in his head. Yeah. You know, and he's he's bombing out bad. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, it happened to Alex. Like, he that mm-hmm. Red Bull seat was horrible for his yeah. mindset. And he came back, and, you know, he's, he's doing great. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think it's fair to give him another season. Okay. But as an American, everyone's like, well, you got to have an American F1. Yeah. Ready. American team. As an American, 
do you actually give a shit about no. having an American in no. F1? No. Right. right? You yeah. don't care. No. And I think that's a funny thing to say, too, because when you look at the driver lineup for Indy, that's pretty international. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a super, um, like, yes, it's an American championship, but yeah. it's a super international driver set. Right. right. Yeah, I don't give a single yeah. shit about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you, I feel like if, if there was an amazing American driver, sure. we'd be pumped. Yeah. But but like, he'd have to be like Kenny Powers. Like he would have to be. He would yeah. have to be really American yeah. for me to care. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 It's like um. It's like what's his name in the UFC? Uh, who like every time he'd win, he'd get on the mic and he'd go, "I need my fucking camo shorts." <laughs> oh, is that the guy who was like riding for Trump, who was wearing like the Trump hat and stuff? Yeah, and he yeah. was like, you know, yeah. you need someone to get in there and beat up Joe. I'm your guy. Like, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, if it was a dude like that, yeah. then I think, yeah, people would turn their heads for it. No, just... apparently Sargent is like a MAGA guy. I wish he would like up that. Oh, okay. I wish he would do more with that. Ah, that man. would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, just, then, yeah and just create chaos. And then all the Italians are like, we agree. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wait, whoa. <laughs> like, wait. It's like, oh, yeah, which side were you on uh, yeah. at the given time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, wait, I want to. Uh, so, like, you're carding. I know that you're like, you're super into carding and cars mm-hmm. in general. Like, mm-hmm. You know, you, you talked about your time with your dad going to that race, but, like, how, like, you know, did you immediately, like, when you got your first car, did you, like, soup it up? Like, what's your yeah. level? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. um, the, for, like, my first car that I owned is, like, a Honda Prelude. And, yeah, like, I made whatever shitty mods I could make to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we, like, you know, me and my friends always fantasize about, like, buying turbos and all that. We just couldn't afford stuff like that. Right. So... Yeah, I mean, like, I would, uh, I actually spent a lot of time tweaking the, like, suspension of it. And so, like, that much I could afford, like, making it handle nice. Um, and so I had that for a couple of years and then uh, went to just straight Civic for the rest of college and a lot of life. And I still have it. And I want to swap the motor maybe next year and, okay. like, build that out. Um, and then, yeah, I I actually haven't really had a performance car until like a year ago, and then I got a GT4, and okay. that's been great. So, but yeah, worked on cars in college years. Yeah, and then what about karting? Like, uh, is that like a newer thing? Yeah, karting is a newer thing. Yeah, um, is actually during the pandemic, a uh, kid who races in uh, Indy Next right now, yeah. Jagger Jones, he hit me up after the steering wheel kill, and he and he saw the virtual race, and he's like, "Yo, man, I'm you know I'm." coming up in nascar right now if you ever want to drive carts like uh-huh. you know i'll take you out and I'll go yeah sure and uh ended up doing that and actually uh the the engineer that came out with us he worked really closely with lando's engineer ricky flynn um so it was like i was starting to early on find out like how small like the racing world was yeah yeah, yeah. um so yeah and then carts i've been doing for the last three years i've raced a couple times and i'm hoping to race more next year but they just shut down like one of the only tracks in socal so mm-hmm carts is uh it's it's looking bad right interesting. now. interesting you'd think it would be like ramping up as like nah people care about it more no nah, i think that's the weird thing is motorsport in america it, it definitely feels like it's dying yeah yeah but i think it i i mean nascar and indy have like made good changes and like indy did what like its best viewership in the last 10 years so yeah. maybe we'll start to ramp back up but at least out this way in the west coast i feel like there's not a ton of racing outside of like Utah, Oregon. It's you know. You what gotta, do you attribute that to? Just kids on their iPads, or mm, I th- I think it's that, and then like it's support- like I could just watch Noel Miller do it on. His <laughs> <grid>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the vicarious <laughs> living. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I think uh, I think yeah, phones have definitely fucked it up. But also, I think uh, racing has a weird, you know, people like associate it, and you know, understandably so, with like I don't know they politicize it a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh so i think there's all like the perception of racing here that's why i think f1 blew up because i don't think totally. people knew that racing wasn't just a redneck thing right <laughs> right know? like everyone's concept of racing here seems to be like it's also a fascist hiding your taxes and yeah. Monaco thing yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which makes it cool it's, 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 it's still right wing but it's like suave yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's old old money yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. you think your old money and this this is this the old you want money. low taxes they've they don't pay taxes yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the oldest money. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I think it's the phone, you know, thing. And then also, uh, supposedly, the amount of, like, people getting their license at 16 has dropped by, like, 10%, like, nationwide mm-hmm. or something. So, because they don't in have... In California? Uh, I think in 
America. Yeah. Oh, just wow. America. Yeah. People are so, just driving less. Yeah. Like kids just don't, there's nowhere for them to go. Right. So they don't give a shit about getting a license until they have to like go work or something. Right. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Especially post pandemic. Mm-hmm. People were really just like, I'll just be in my house. So yeah. Yeah. Just, and then they're like, why am I depressed? Yeah. It's like, yeah. get out of the fucking house. Yeah. yeah. That you can is, still be, guess what? You can be on your phone outside uh, yeah, at the racetrack, too. <laughs> you know, I, I do it all the time yeah. <laughs> i'm constantly outside and on my phone i also think racing is just massively expensive so there's totally no yeah, yeah. To of course but, of course yeah and it's probably more expensive than it used to be a hundred percent yeah yeah oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's more expensive than ever yeah yeah because the you know carding it used to be like I think the rules used to be a bit more open in a lot of the karting championships in America. So, like, you could show up with a piece of shit cart, and you could be young, and you could, like, work with your dad to, like, kind of tweak the cart to compete. But now, to my understanding, it's super rigid. There's, it's like a monopoly. Like, the, the championship owns the, the only tire company you can use. Yeah. And they have, like, in with the only type of engines you can use. Right, and it's just right, like right. a racket all the way down. So. Wow. It's yeah. so it's like harder for like a Lewis Hamilton to come through, a hundred percent, or like yeah. a Michael Schumacher who yeah. you know, has nothing. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you feel? Do you like have like as you've gotten to this like you know especially like carding later in life? You're like, are you, are you like longing for like ah? Oh, if I was young and had the opportunity, like, do you feel like here? Because here's the thing. Here's my delusional brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My yeah. delusional <laughs> brain says like when I'm in a cart, I'm like I fucking like I see the road. Yeah, like, I feel like I like am good at it. Yeah. Now I'm like about a hundred pounds too big yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like whatever yeah. but I, when i was young i was really tiny yeah and i fuck i took growth hormones to get bigger yeah because i had like a thyroid condition oh that's crazy i like had like a like a person the doctors were like you're actually like medically small <laughs> is what they said. <laughs> but if you but if you were if i was a car, racing car driver would, i would not i would have been like get those things the oh. fuck away from me <laughs> bro let at, me be five foot two and have all of the pace <laughs> hold up at what age were you taking hgh uh ninth grade that is sick. Sorry, ninth grade. You're telling me I could have done that? I was four foot like ten in ninth grade. Bro, I was four eleven. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to like they like took a scan of my wrist and they said like you have the wrist, you have the bone structure of an eight year old. And when I was like thirteen or fourteen, yeah. And they were like, we think, and then they tested my levels and they're like, you have a thyroid condition. Wow, yeah. bro. Fuck racing. I want to go back and do that. That's <laughs> insane. But then I wouldn't be here, you know. I wouldn't right. be where I'm at. So yeah. Well, but, it gives. I have like the. You know, it's like I still have the like Napoleonic complex. Sure. It, it no, gave you me, chilled like, the fuck out. I did chill out. Well, I was a nightmare. Yeah. But it gave me like a like I had like some type of like I I got a push. Yeah, so yeah, you think yeah, if like, you were I, taller, you would have <laughs> just been an accountant or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you only chase success when you are little. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's beautiful you were about 11th and 9th grade yeah yeah but then i had a nice spurt so yeah i came back average five seven right 10th right. grade yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The, but you actually no no, no i was yeah. five two in ninth grade okay but i was yeah, like yeah, four yeah. eleven and eighth so yeah yeah so we would have been either like friends or they would have like we they <laughs> no we used to this, this is, is fucked, fucked up, up. <laughs> this is a fucked up thing that we'll ever they used to like make me and the other like shortest kid like wrestle like we would like fight each other wow Wow. And they would be like, ha ha, hilarious. And, and, and like for us, it was like this death match. But like now, we would lose interest halfway through and yeah, like yeah, walk yeah. away. And they you were would... part of this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was like running the ring. <laughs> <laughs> we were, when we were like in middle school, we met like in middle school and we yeah. were like enemies. Oh, okay. And then as we got older, we were like, wait, we have similar interests. Yeah, and like, yeah. why, do, why, why, why don't we not hate each yeah. other? And then you took the growth hormone and you're like, yeah, you're all right. You're all right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he yeah, just yeah. mellowed out. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stopped being so insane. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, no, I don't like to answer your question. Yeah. I don't, uh, you don't feel like you got the pace. Um, I, th- from like my experience with carts, like I think <laughs> it's an inflammatory question. So you don't think you're fast? No, no, no. <laughs> Slow, bitch. I definitely think I have like, you know, it, it with my limited experience, I was already very comfortable like mid pack. Right. So I think I could maybe fight between like. 10 through fi- 10th through 15th yeah those top seven top 10 guys in carding i mean like they are yeah Next you level. know yeah and and you know if you go overseas that top 10 gets even more competitive yeah so in america i think i could compete mid-pack just fine but gotcha. no i mean maybe yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and how are you how are you when you get on the sim with like with an f1 driver i haven't done sim in a I, minute or that or the game yeah yeah um I haven't done sim in a minute, but after I raced carts, 
sim just it doesn't doesn't hit it just doesn't hit the same yeah no then why do you see those f1 drivers they do it all the time they can't stop doing like it. max is mm-hmm. clinically addicted to the sim i i th- almost think that's like an adrenaline thing like i think it's just like a programming like Mm. They like it's like a way of soothing that. I mean, dude, you think about the adrenaline they go through every right. fucking weekend. Yeah, it's so insane. You you pull them off that for four weeks, like that's why you see Charles like climbing mountains, and right? Lewis is skydiving, <laughs> right? Like, right. They're right. trying to yeah. do the most insane shit right, possible, right? Because they're just used to getting that dump like all the time. Yeah. Right. More than that, like there is something absurd about a guy who's already first place champion going home being like, I need to sim more. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> so. yeah but it seems like they really enjoy it. Like if you yeah. watch like Charles and Albon. And oh yeah. Yeah. Mando, they seem like they're having a great time. It's, I would say probably because it's the only time where they can probably go wheel to wheel and it doesn't affect their right. career, a sponsorship. Right. Yeah. They can like fuck around. Like, yeah. Have For the love, they go back to like the love of the game. Yeah. 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 They, yeah that they makes really, sense. Yeah. They originally like, that's a good point. Wait, so can we talk about, so, cause like I, watched those like streams of like of you <laughs> with Lando. So so Lando contacted you after you did the wheel kill. No, or, no, no, like, it, was or, a, like, it, was or a, okay. it was a third party company okay. that organized the race. And then just from that, um we just kind of became acquainted and yeah. you know, if he was on Twitch, I'd just hop in his chat and we'd stream together periodically and um, we had the next race at Baku where I was Charles' teammate. And, right. And, yeah. Uh, you, I took us out. Yeah. yeah you famously. <laughs> first, yeah. first lap. Yeah. That yeah. was a bull. I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Like, yeah. We yeah. have to talk to him. About yeah, yeah. So, how did that come about? Um, well, what's really funny is I practiced Baku for like two days. Yeah. Three days. Right. Yeah. Really trying to nail it. And uh, I thought I had, I was like decent, but I was like super paranoid. And then, yeah, I just choked like that first. That, <laughs> fourth corner or whatever it was like yeah. going into castle i just choked and yeah ruined it well he took you like because he like because in on the streams like he kind of came in on turn one I yeah think, hit you i can't remember and actually you, where... this, i think this it was like it was like on turn one he came in he like edged you out you made a little bit of contact yeah and then you were like fuck it like i'm sending this and you just absolutely <laughs> like took it out going into like two or three i thought it was a castle That's no no funny. no no it was like on one of the 90 degrees <laughs> and you just like full just like i was just like oh that's such a fucking bold move taking out like an f1 driver on this stream hey man no it's beautiful yeah, yeah i mean so you weren't like not st- starstruck at all you're like i'm trying to fucking send it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i wanted to perform dude yeah. yeah i didn't care who was next to me yeah yeah. yeah yeah and then he said yeah that you know that was the shittest strategy <laughs> like, like, and he's seen some shitty yeah, strategy no, that, yeah. that's saying you actually shocked that. charles leclerc yeah. with the stupidity yeah. of that. yeah i was that's just giving it. him a glimpse into his future right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he was that was still like in the good days yeah. of, of uh, Ferrari. Yeah, 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 it was all that was back out. like when things were going good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. um, it was so funny like some of those clips because that was it was also like a time before F one took off in the states. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like on that early one of those early streams with with um <laughs> this is with Lando, you're like. So guys, like we got Lando on the stream. Like Lando, why don't you like tell them who you are? And he's like, "Hey guys, like <laughs> I'm Lando Norris. Like I'm a Formula One driver. You're like guys, Formula One is this? Like oh, just really in funny. case you don't know." And, and I he's think like, he was like, "I also do Twitch." Yeah, like, yeah. He was like, "He was like, yeah, I'm a Formula One driver, but like I'm also on Twitch, guys." That's so funny. And now it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't hold this Formula One thing against me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I didn't even process that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was. Yeah, because. It hadn't really spiked, and people didn't really get my interest, like interest in, it. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, because I'd even try streaming Formula One, and like I just had to stop because the numbers. Yeah, because no one cared. <laughs> <laughs> no one gave a single shit. Right, right. You right. kill someone with a Formula One steering wheel. That's different. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah literally, different. like that's yeah. how like yeah. Call of Duty, <laughs> the yeah. series happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, uh, then from there, it's definitely like a rest is rest is history type thing. Um, it's uh, it's it's funny now because. With carts, I'm like so addicted. Like during my wedding week, I <laughs> I found a track. Oh no. right, yeah, ne- yeah, 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 yeah. Next, to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like south of like the venue we were at, and yeah. we were staying. It was a super small wedding, and we were all just kind of shacked up in a Airbnb. And um, I was smart, and I waited at least one day after the wedding. But you know, I was like edging my wife. I'm like, yo, Elena, there's right. a cart track. <laughs> <laughs> we could be sick if. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Like, it was like, like what what kind of union are we making? Yeah. yeah. One where, like yeah. I get to like have fun and enjoy my life, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, Yeah, I guess. Nah, everyone had a good time. But um so I carted there and then I'm going to Japan and I'm gonna go cart there and I've like carted at some really dope tracks in America. So now I just take my suit around and I'm just trying to take that suit like anywhere and everywhere. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. What, what, like, because we've only done the, like, indoor kind of K1. shitty. Yeah, I got to K- take you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Love How tall are you? Uh, six one. Six one. How much you weigh? Like two hundred. Whoa, that's this is violence on the, <laughs> the public. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> six foot. Two twenty. You're two twenty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What are we too big? Well, you just you just have pace on us. No, I mean we'll just put well, weight. That's regardless. We'll put, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Oh. <laughs> I mean, let's be. You know. yeah, 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 let's be. Honest. But um. No, I mean, there's uh, there's definitely carts like with enough power to wait. For you guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll we, get you guys a fucking tractor or yeah, a yeah. Zamboni or yeah, something yeah. strong <laughs> enough to uh, push you guys along. No, but you've done K1, but have you done like even proper four cycle like outdoor karting? No. no. Oh man, we gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, is we, this in LA? We gotta go or or anywhere? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This gotta, was a uh, we we have we've we've had some trauma around karting, so oh. we went we went in in Jersey City at this place called RPM. Okay. Which like shout out like the, the guy who runs it like invited us. Yeah, we go. Matt's on his way to the airport. RPMs aren't bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was yeah. No, we, we, the carts have speed because yeah. Matt paid the price for it. We were like, <laughs> well, because we you could take like every turn flat. Yeah, except one. So right. so <laughs> it's, in, <laughs> it's, in, it's in Jersey City, right? So we're going to Newark. Matt's Matt's flying back to LA. I, I live in New York. Matt's like in town. He's we're like we'll go there before you go to the airport. And we're going, and we have, like, it's just the two of us on the thing, because they, like, hooked it up. They were like, all right, just you two. Yeah. And I talk shit. I'm like, I'm fucking, I got the pace, bro. And then, so then he's just heard me talk so much shit that he was like, I got to He's insufferable. Him. He's, like, <laughs> cause he's always like, I think I could have been an F1 driver. Yeah. And I think I might still be able to. Yeah, it's delusional, but whatever. I carry <laughs> I, it. So I just need to beat him. Right. And then when I, and then, even, then I'm like, but I got to beat him by enough because he'll just blame the weight. So it's right. like, it's got to be a convincing. Right, right. So I'm really on tilt. Yeah, you got to And then, him. yeah, just went straight. Just like, didn't learn the track to mm. like, whatever. He was just like, I'm just going. And I didn't do a reconnaissance wall. now. Wow. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I just sent it. Oh wow! What is, what is that's your that's his knee? That's like, a, that's like an inside leg. So did you launch out the cart? No, he no, hit the my, steering. My leg just hit the steering column. Got it. Which it turned just... into this. <laughs> nice, <dude. laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's... I, uh, yeah. So he canceled his flight. It's like flight. they were like, "You're a flight risk. Like you can't like. <laughs> yeah, you might. You'll die. have a yeah, fucking yeah, clot. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. You'll die. Yeah, so yeah. like, he had to go like spend three more days at his parents' house. Yeah. <laughs> he was like ready to be like, "Yes, I'm going back back to yeah, LA." It's like, "Mom, I'm coming home." Yeah. All right. So you know how we get you out of your delusion? Yeah. We have you drive a real cart? Yeah. And you feel what it's like to drive with no power steering and mm. actual like forces working against you yeah and see if you last 20 laps just like smelling gasoline okay and then then i'll know yeah, then yeah. I'll know. okay yeah the worst, <laughs> okay. worst case scenario worst case scenario i don't know what's worse like him being shattered of this yeah and just being like anne hathaway and lame is like, <laughs> with her head i dream the dream of time gone <laughs> yeah. or like him actually doing well and, and then, then just being completely worse. insufferable <laughs> right. Right. right i can promise you won't do well okay cool. <laughs> cool. no he's just gonna be like noel's so fucking light <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, i gotta fucking get ozempic yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i just need to get a just yeah. prescription of ozempic yeah, yeah, yeah. no i mean no you'll you'll uh you'll definitely get the car to go slow that'll be fine yeah yeah, 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 you'll yeah. be able to break you're heavy enough yeah no i think uh the thing that with carts is that escapes people i think is the way they're designed is like when you turn them they're designed so that it lifts the rear the the rear inside tire so if you turn left the rear inside left lifts in the air you're supposed you turn to turn it. the other way um no because what it is is the the axle is fixed Right. Yeah. So right. you, you don't have a differential. So right. if you go around a corner, one tire can't move slower than the other. So it it lifts the rear tire. So I see. what when people drive like real carts, the thing that fucks them up is they'll slam the throttle and they don't realize they're only getting the, on the power on one wheel. So, so they they out. spin all the time. Ah. Yeah. So, so it's all about manipulating your body. Is it no? The like carting is very like sequential. Like it's yeah. Um, you want a hard break corner and you don't want to touch any of the inputs and then you can like thread the throttle as like your exit as you get back as the wheel yeah. comes back to, mm-hmm. to, to earth yeah yeah and like carting is like a balance where you actually don't turn that much and the thing that uh you have to start to understand is like letting the cart work against the ground and like let gravity and and like grip take over right so it's like this balance that um in a cart, like you're maybe like that, and then like you're fighting it a little bit yeah. as you're like threading the power, and then you're back to it. You're it's it's not how you think to drive a normal car where you're like all the way over. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, but even just that action becomes really like physically intensive because um, there's like 
you'll see it anytime. I mean, I'll show you guys, but after your first lap, like first time out, those 12 laps are going to kill you. And like, you would have never thought it could be that physical. Right. Like, right, what, right. What, where is it hardest on? I mean, first of all, your, your heart rate's up, like you're yeah, yeah, sprinting yeah. the whole time. Yeah. You don't think about that. Right. And then I think what's hard is normally you think about driving as like pulling almost like, so you like, you'll use a lot of your biceps. Yeah. And I think the thing that's tough about karting is you want to push, like it's like boxing, like mm. you just want to shift shift right. shift but what ends up happening is people like yank it with their biceps right. so that just, you, that'll kill your arms yeah, in the yeah, first like because those, those muscles are too small you yeah, want to use yeah. your bigger muscles mm-hmm. that, yeah that yeah and like your struck you want to use like the body yeah you yeah use, like as much of your bone as possible some guys like to shift around in their seat people argue whether or not you should do that um you can definitely like crack a rib so i definitely like brace my core a little bit before mm. corners like hitting curbs but yeah yeah, we were, we were talking to Scott Speed, mm. yeah. who said it sounds that. like such a fake name. I know it's <laughs> yeah. like yeah. Anyway, we were over there with Daniel Dash, Scott Speed, <laughs> yeah. and Turbo Tim. Yeah. He uh, he drove me around. We were at at the Chicago sh- Red Bull Show Run, and he yeah. like drove me around in his like. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah. which was like so. Yeah, sick. yeah. I was yeah. I was I was uh, Instagram Live on yeah. it, yeah. and I was like holding my camera, and then was immediately got getting nauseous. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just gotta be like, <laughs> and then people were like, "You're just filming the dashboard. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't see what the fuck." It's is like, going oh, on. three people watch this live. It was so bad. It is a horrible video. Uh, yeah. But um, Scott Speed talked about his. I forget what the name of his teammate when he came in at Red Bull, mm. and they, he was talking about how he was like a genius in car. Mm-hmm. And part of his genius on carts was like how he would shift his Luca weight. Oh. Jota or something Some, something yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. But um, also the other thing that Callum Eilat was saying when we interviewed him was yeah. that, like some guys are like they're in such good shape, but they get really tired. Yeah, and then there are other guys who like never train at all, but they're like they don't tense up. They're very relaxed. That's a big part of it. Yeah, right. It's yeah, just knowing when to use your muscles mm-hmm. and not to tense up. Yeah, it's, because Callum Eilat he he says he never works out. Yeah, and he, and he and he can last longer than guys who are just freaks. Yeah, yeah, it's like one of those weird things. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, um, it's such a funny thing that when I first learned karting, like you'll see like drivers like um, they'll sometimes do shit where they like grab the back of the wheel and they'll pull themselves forward. It's like yeah. a fake DRS, right? Right. I, I'll actually do that to like loosen up my back, right, and like try to relax. But yeah, that's the. It's such a weird like you're trying to be calm and then off and then yeah, on and yeah, then yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's interesting though i didn't realize he didn't work out that's, yeah that's wild i mean he probably does some stuff but compared to like the joseph new gardens of the world right we're just like <laughs> yeah because <laughs> no, he, was, he like, was saying he's really good friends with um the guy on the rookie he was a rookie uh, armstrong armstrong mm. he says like armstrong can like plank for an hour interesting and he's yeah. like and he's like and i'm like what does he need that for he's like it's fucking useless yeah and he gets more tired than i do yeah like, yeah, yeah. plank for an hour yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. such like it's such strange strength mm-hmm. yeah. like i mean with the neck stuff like it's just like it's like it's weird muscles does ever know you guys when you see like see people go like uh you know driving's not a sport you ever see people say that? Yeah, we 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 say we that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh no. no! No, here's the thing. This is what we'll say: is like driving is a sport, and like these guys are definitely athletes. But I think that I could get to the level of fitness required like, required sure. to drive an F1 car. Yeah, I'm not saying I'd be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying I'd put in like the lap. Yeah, but I could never get to the fitness level required to be a soccer player. Yeah. Or, or a football player. Yeah. Like, I could never run a 40 fast. Yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. So like, it's just, there's levels to it. Yeah, I think 100%. I could get my neck strong enough. Yeah. To, do you agree with that? Yeah, I, and yeah, I do in a way. I think the thing that is weird about driving is, I think the sport aspect is all intangible stuff. Like, it's yeah. an ability to, y- you kind of have to have, like, that MMA focus where there's, like, tons yeah. of pressure on what you're mm-hmm. doing. Like, I don't care. Like, right. I'm I'm fine. No, the mentality is like more intense than other sports. I yeah, think. Right, like, like it's like I think like you know like it's it's different mentalities, but I think like the hyper focus that F, you have to do to be a professional racing car driver is like is a whole other thing. Like you have to be so sharp, you have to be so. I mean, they, they're doing all those like you it know feels like, like the, golf, the, honestly, the quick like golf. Well, no, because golf, like I feel like we could, I could get physically strong. Oh, enough sure, sure, to sure. hit a ball that far. Golf is so mental in this like way where it's like a, it's like a, a centimeter. But it's a skill. Yeah, but you have to stay calm as well. Yeah, yeah. it's all that like, you, it, yeah, it's important to stay calm. It's like that's like the that's why it's so mental. That's what yeah. we also love about it. It's like yeah. just how fucking mentally insane yeah. you have to be, and like the demands that it 
causes on you. That's why, like, it, you know, when people are like, oh, Lewis doesn't have it anymore, or, like, when, you know, people on Reddit, they're so quick to shit on, like, whoever, like, yeah, immediately. Right, right. And I'm like, dude, even if you got physically <laughs> strong enough to drive that fucking car, do you understand how dialed in you have to be to even, like, nail a mid pack lap time, right. lap over lap? manage everything that's going on mentally and just not fuck that up like i mean look at george russell yeah i mean that's the best example yeah he just can't whenever he tries to run with lewis it just yeah he yeah. just i mean he's like crazy now yeah with it he's going he's i feel like he's losing his mind george yeah. yeah yeah i mean like he's you know i mean rosberg all the stuff he said about trying to compete with lewis i mean yeah imagine how you know because you get rejected at a bar or something as a young guy, you feel awful. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, if you're in your early, like, I'm thinking about George. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. A dude his age, you, you know, if he walks into a girl and she's like, I'm good, that yeah. would crush your soul for right. a bit. Right. This is like, he's putting his everything. Yeah. Right. You, you know, this shit is keeping him up at night. Yeah. yeah. And then to, like, something in Singapore happens, dude, how's yeah. he not thinking about suicide? Right. Like, <laughs> well, but then, but then the next race, he's like, Lewis needs to get out of my way. Yeah. Like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, how do you not remember Singapore? Yeah. yeah. Like, you're, like, what do you have amnesia? Yeah. Like, what is his, what is going on yeah, in his dude. head? Yeah. You know what I loved about that race, too, is people were like, Lewis pushed George or pushed George off. I'm like, good. I like, I like it when Lewis is a little dirty. Right. Yeah. yeah I like we it. We love when Lewis is yeah. a little fucking dirty. Yeah. No, I like when he puts the gratitude aside for a second. Yeah. And, like, unlocks what really is yeah. in there, which is a psycho killer. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> see, at the end of the day, I think he's Max without without any, like, we take all the varnish away. We sure. take the gratitude away. 100%. <laughs> right. Oh, bro. Could, oh, my God. They're, they need to have an exhibition league with those two. I know. Yeah. Just put them in the identical machinery and just see if it doesn't come to blows. I know. <laughs> It's just so fucking yeah. Cause, yeah, because Max, uh, uh, Lewis, and George, um, in the last in Japan, were like it was reminiscent of Max and Lewis in uh, Brazil. Yeah, when Lewis was like coming from behind, Max was like, "I will not go gently yes. into this good night." Yes. They were just like running him off yes. track. Yeah. Like when he ran George, he ran himself and George off track at one point. I was like, "That's the exact move that Max did on him in in yeah. Lagos." Well, the thing I think too, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong with this, but. Uh, my buddy James, who races GT3, he uh, he came up with Lando and them, and yeah. so the thing he told me, like in a grid that competitive in carts, the thing that he was always told was uh, send or be sent. Right. <sighs> and so sometimes I wonder if all these moments where people get really up in arms about like you know leaving room and this and that, like do these guys just default to their karting days where they're yeah. like, nope. Like I don't care. Right. I'm, you're gonna crash. Like you need to fuck off because I'm not giving this. Right. And I I just wonder if that escapes people sometimes. Like that's well, the way these guys are. Thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a rep thing. It's like Max is like there was a great moment where like where like Mick Schumacher was trying to get his first points. Yeah. Or something last year. Yeah. And, like Max had all these issues. Yeah. And he tried to like send it on Max for Sappen, and Max had like ninth. Yeah. And Max was like, "Get the fuck, yeah, get out the of fuck here. away!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, I was like, "Like Mick, he's never gonna let you send yeah, it yeah, on yeah, him. Yeah. Absolutely not." Like he's like, "I'll DNF. I don't give yeah, a shit." Yeah, yeah. You know, ninth place. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like two yeah. points. It's for like sure. a rep, it's a rep thing, and that's what you know. Brian and I have talked about with like your buddy Lando. Yeah, yeah. Just like Lando's like very quick to do like the not my fight, not my race. Right, right. And it's just where like George Russell will like, I will die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Max is like, I will die yeah. before I let anybody send it on me. It's true. And whether it's good or bad is like up for debate. Yeah. I, you know, would you, do you, I mean, do you feel a certain way about, you know, oh, like, you know, let me lift off and live to fight another day or it's like, I'm going to crash right here so everyone knows that you know, these I'm Avon Barksdale's, and, and these are, these are my corners. Yeah, I, I, I know maybe people don't agree with this because like safety or whatever. Because yeah. <laughs> like they want to live. Yeah, because they want them to be alive. Like that. I understand that it's not the same as carts because they are driving at 200 miles an hour. But I do think like pretending that this is a gentleman's sport when you like in the paddock, like they there is beef. These yeah. guys probably brush shoulders and they're like I fucking want to choke this guy. I hate him. You know. And yeah. I think it's lame to pretend the rest of F1 can be stuffy. Yeah. Let them be like right. human. So I'm yeah. down for 10 villains and 10 heroes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So who's your number one villain? Who's your favorite villain? Second that to the bad guy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
I honestly think Max is like a big villain. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, he's, I, and over time, like he's just, you know, it's just that Dutch, like, yeah. I don't care. You know, yeah, he's right. like Akon. You can like put the blame on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like an alternate villain though, like quiet villain. Honestly, sometimes I feel um S Est- Esteban's like yeah. s- you know, yeah. silent villain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Silent villain. Yeah, he yeah. he likes he's obsessed with like Spider Man. Yeah. But it's like, nah, dude, you're Green Goblin. Yeah. Yeah. He's so nice and th- like he's so he'll he'll like pick his battles. Like he's the interesting one, he'll like pick his battles until it's his teammate. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he's Max or Stab. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He doesn't give a fuck. Well, dude. Also, they really hyped up him and Gasly like yeah. gonna kill each other this season, and right. it's just like been non-existent. Well, they've crashed a couple times, but not like in a malicious way. No, yeah. they just no. like they. I feel like they're like they're like similar pace, but yeah. like that engine is that engine. Yeah. And so then they're just like next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't been that much of a. Well, there was but an this, this last race where they had to switch places. Did you see that? Do you see that onboard camera? Uh, no. So at the end, so so, Ocon let Gasly through to like try to get whoever was ahead of them. Yeah. But because Ga- but Esteban was on a weird strategy, like because he. Was at the back and was like going long. So okay, yeah, yeah. And, as, and Gasly was on new tires. Yeah, so. so he like let Gasly through to try to get whoever was ahead of them, and then Gasly couldn't get the person. So then they were like, "All right, like switch it back." Uh-oh. And then going in, and then Gasly was like, no. si- "I think silent on the radio, just like, no, nah, I'm not doing that <laughs> yeah. shit." And they're like, "Gasly, you have to do it." So what he did was like he went into the last corner as like a fuck you. He just slammed on the brakes and just like held there. Let Esteban like go and then like so his last sector time was like five seconds slower than like the like anyone else. Right. And then in the on the onboard, you see him banging the fucking steering wheel and he flips. He just goes fuck and like fuck. Yeah. He flips so he off. was like livid. Uh, yeah. I didn't. No, I didn't catch that. Yeah. 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 It's Damn it's a it. beautiful like you're like. It's so the images are so powerful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're yeah. so powerful. He's and like a silent like, film actor. And yeah. it, so because because it, it hasn't been that much drama. Everyone was like prepping for this drama, but then you see that and you're like, what the fuck was that about? Yeah, I really. Oh, well, I I know about the whole thing where like their families. Don't, yeah, yeah. Like, don't vibe. what's that about? Well, I, it makes me wonder how deep that feud is. Yeah, is it just little league dad shit. I mean, it yes. it is hundred yeah. percent. But um, and Gazi comes from money and. Esteban doesn't. They don't, and yeah. they they used to be buddies in carts. Yeah, yeah. But then, and here's the thing: I'm like, it's like a Keenan and Kel thing. <laughs> like only one, like Gasly was the only one who's ever vocal about it. Right. And Esteban never really said anything. And right. Gasly'd be like, "Oh, I don't know. We were pals, and then suddenly something happened, and I don't know what it." Is. And that to me, right. does that mean that it's Gasly's fault? That feel that, that like I'm starting to see it. Like, like maybe Gasly that was like was a bully. <laughs> maybe that was like a petty thing to be yeah. like, "I don't know why he's mad." Right, <laughs> right, right. Because right, right. well, it's the same thing with Nico and um, Lewis. Lewis, because yeah. Nico's like, you know, I wish we were still friends. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if he wants to bury the hatchet, I'm here. And yeah, Nico, and Lewis is just like, get the. <laughs> I never. <laughs> and it's usually the guy that's like. Anytime he wants to bury the hatchet, I'm here. It's like you did something. Yeah, horrible. it's usually yeah, those God. people. It's like, no, nah, I'm chill. <laughs> yeah. You're like, right. if you want to take the hatchet out of your back, yeah, yeah, yeah. bury it. <laughs> <laughs> the hatchet that I put into your yeah, spine, yeah. you can take that out and we can bury it right now. Yeah, like, yeah, come on, man. dude. Yeah. Um, uh, that's so fucking. Yeah, good. It's, yeah. Speaking of teammate battles, do we want to talk? Okay. I I back Leclerc here. Yeah, to the hill. Where are you with the and then Science has a few good fucking races and everybody's just so digmatized. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, I I'm a I'm a I'm a Charles fanboy for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and this is from someone who's literally crashed him out of. Yeah, race. I've yeah. taken him out. <laughs> <laughs> I've ru- I've hindered this guy's career. Let me say, like, if he ever wants to bury the hatchet, I'm <laughs> I'm here for it, man. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Not. So, what do you feel like? Do you feel like Science is like st- taking a step forward? You think it's the car? Like, where are you at with that whole thing? I think. This is one of those where it's like, <laughs> this is a weird ass analogy, but it's like when you work at a retail job and then the new retail employee comes in and they get like a couple good sales and the manager's like, see, see, this is the kind of spirit we need. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you've been working there for a minute and you're like, oh, that, right. oh, word. You remember when I first got here, right? Yeah. right, right and right. I was really stoked. Yeah. And then you fucked me over several, several times. And yeah. now I'm this. You yeah. made me this. Yeah. <laughs> this is your fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So I think he <laughs> just has like that. You've never worked in retail, have you? 
I have definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt yeah, yeah. so real. Yeah, yeah. It felt very real. Yeah, yeah, Very lived in. Can we can we can we can we name the outlet? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Best Buy. Yes. What were you selling? Uh, computers, man. Yeah, yeah. They got on you like that. Um. Oh, bro. Yeah, selling at Best Buy is hilarious. We used to sell so hard that we'd always be asked if we were on commission, and we weren't. Like we just we just were draining people for the good of the blue. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thin blue line to me. (laughs) (laughs) It's my Best Buy fucking outfit. Yeah. Yeah. You you see one of those guys with those flags and you're like, that guy worked at Best Buy. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, dude, PCHO? (laughs) PC and home office. That's what it stands for. So they would would ride you about selling and you didn't even get a commission? No. It was just like brownie points. Oh, shit. How'd yeah. you do? Where were you on the leaderboard there? Oh, I was I was up there. Yeah. And then I realized, like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You're like, I could put this hustle somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. It could benefit. I got in trouble because we used to sell protection plans, and I said asking, like, trying to convince someone to get a protection plan was the same as asking if you want fries with that. <laughs> and someone quoted that to, like, they quoted me to my manager, and my manager goes, you should think about how you look at what you do here. You know, he shouldn't be. Lo- and he like quoted me, and I'm like, right. someone's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, yeah, when because you know, you know, Carlos has a few good races, and everyone's digmatized. I get a bit annoyed. I'm like, yeah, right. well, whatever, okay. Yeah, you yeah. made a few sales. Yeah, right. you know how many that's, Dells I fucking moved. Yeah, for you yeah, guys? yeah. That's like, what Charles is saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I've been working this department for three fucking years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait till it turns bad for you, buddy. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. wait till they fuck something up. Yeah. <laughs> See how happy you are to drive, dude. <laughs> See how excited you are to get in that fucking car. Yeah. So. Damn. Yeah. So I think you know. I think Charles just has that disgruntled employee shit yeah Yeah. you know and one year in f1 is like i would say five years in a corporate job right Mm. you know each one that passes like like logan that guy feels like two or three years of fucking up in one year right right like that dude's like i'm I'm for sure fired yeah that's all he's thinking right right right. you know what i mean but so. there's such a long year too it's like mm-hmm. i mean it's uh, you know it's like i'm like oh the off season's coming up i'm like for two months yeah <laughs> and then drive to survive comes out which is a full-time job yeah. like just watching that yeah and then it, and then they're back in testing and then it's like the season's like yeah it's it's yeah yeah they have to they have to live it and then relive it on drive to survive yeah and they gotta live it again <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's fucking like that tom cruise movie live die repeat yeah <laughs> yeah dude edge of tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah dude yeah, yeah. yeah and then they never get away from it because f1's like the biggest thing ever like yeah right Giovinazzi, like no matter what amazing things that kid does they're gonna be like oh yeah you're the dude that dude couldn't really hack it yeah. Fucking, <laughs> oh yeah i man, know yeah. Yeah, he couldn't beat a wash right yeah. in but... he did he did, <laughs> yeah, he did say recently because he won le mans yeah and then he was like he was like i think winning le mans in a ferrari is better than being in formula one it's like or like when he said winning he said it's better than like winning in formula one and then people everyone's like all right yeah, yeah. it's better maybe better than being like in last in formula yeah, one but like yeah. let's slow our yeah <laughs> that's a button like ethered him yeah for sure. button, yeah, like, him out. yeah it's better than being in formula one but winning in formula one no yeah so wait who are do you have like in terms of like the personalities in the f1 world like do you have any like faves who like who do you love i was like big rooting for alex like yeah I, you know i i i don't know i just i have no connection to the guy but i felt so terrible for him like the way people not yeah. to be all corny or whatever but i just felt people did not understand how scary and psycho of a task that would have been Mm, to be like in your rookie year rookie year and you're like you want to go compete with the kid who's like a fucking computer yeah Yeah. and um he's like is gonna be like a death like death machine in there he'll be emotionless and none of this pressure will get to him you want to drive next to that and to be to say yes and then like yeah you just like you fuck up once everyone's like oh (laughs) <laughs> Yo, dude, yeah. you should die. You're bad at this. <laughs> Epic fail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, that was so, tough. So, like, I'm I'm hyped for him. Um, who else do I, I have, like, uh, I like I like Piastri's attitude, you know? We love yeah. Piastri. Yeah, Piastri's great. <laughs> We're fucking obsessed he's a, he's with a, He's very low-key. Yeah. He and Lando are such a brilliant, like, opposite end awesome the same movie. coin. Yeah. They're, yeah. like, the most, like, the, the guy who's, like, the, you know, 
the social chair mm-hmm. and then the like the guy who's like i don't i'll come to the party I guess. Yeah, yeah 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 i'm he's hope just, dude. he's just burning things in the corner yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's the pyro in the corner and then lando's in the corner with all the models they're like who's that he's like that's my teammate yeah. <laughs> he's weird yeah what are you thinking about that like that situation there i'll tell you this man i mean lando has shown everybody that like when it's game time you don't give a fuck yeah like so I think they're a great combo, and if McLaren can get that car fast enough, dude. I know. I think well, those two are an amazing season waiting to happen. Yes. Yeah. It's a yeah. He's building next, a little this twink next army. Year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they when they got Malukas, I'm like Jesus. Yeah. Christ, he's doing something. Yeah, 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 yeah. McLaren knows what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Malukas is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. We talked to Malukas at the Indy 500, and he is like, he's, he's a great fucking hang. so. Funny. Yeah. He starts for Aero. Next, Next year, year. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I ran into him at um, at uh, the last race of the end of season. God. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Laguna, yeah, Laguna. Laguna. yeah, yeah, yeah. Laguna Seca. Yeah, man, he was a yeah, super nice. It it really fucked me up because he walks up to me and he's like, "Dude, I'm a huge fan." Yeah. I'm like, he's like, "What are you doing here?" And I'm like, "You're a fan. This is even crazier." Right. Like, yeah. I don't expect a driver to be like, yo, I watch your fucking... He's like, I've been yeah, watching yeah. you since I was in the second grade. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. And he's like, I'm 14. Yeah. Yeah. He's like an internet king. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's yeah. like, he, he he said that we asked him <laughs> if he thinks of memes while driving. And oh, he was like, sure. He was like, all the time. Yeah. He was like, I'm constantly thinking of memes. And then, yeah. it, it, like, and, then he, and then he's like, I have to get out of the car and like remember them. I run to my phone and like, yeah. be like, memes. He writes down like, what memes I want to make out of the race. That's great, dude. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. So you went to the 500 last year? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how was that? Uh, uh, unreal. Yeah. Have you best. been? No, I'm, I'm trying to sneak you got, in this So year. the 500 is like, because you go to the F1 races and like, I think like unless you are like, taken care of yeah. and you've got like the, the 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 cream of the crop of like you're in the in the facilities and all that kind of stuff then just like being in gen pop it can be it's fun it's not not fun it's a festival though it's a festival yeah. and you're there for that but you also you only see like Bits. a tenth a, a, mm-hmm. a 15th of the track yeah with the 500 it's like you're seeing a quarter of the track yeah the inside is crazy there's the there's the snake pit yeah which is literally just like coachella yeah people are just like on molly no partying don't the even, whole race people don't yeah. even know there's a race yeah yeah um, they're just seeing the colors go by and the thing they're like oh shit these, yeah these yeah the, visuals are awesome <laughs> yeah literally and they're like we watched like the end and the end was like insane yeah like a full all those finish. restarts yeah yeah so yeah no that's that's it's like, like mad max it's like the the stadium's like rusty. Yeah, I really hope I can sneak in this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not paying. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you'd have to pay. Yeah, 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 <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay. Bankers, this episode is brought to you by Bet MGM. As you know, we have teamed up with BetMGM this season. In fact, I placed my first bet on BetMGM, my first bet ever doing sports betting. And guess what? I bet on Carlos Sainz to win the Singapore GP. Yeah. Put sixty dollars down, one seven hundred and twenty, okay? Because the boy knows how to pick him, and if you feel like you know how to pick him too, if you know when Max Verstappen is going to lose his next race, then you might want to get on BetMGM as well. And if you haven't signed up for BetMGM, you can use the bonus code Red Two Hundred. You will receive two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly when placing your first wager of at least ten dollars with BetMGM. If I had done that, if I oh, if I had put two hundred dollars on Carlos Sainz to win the Singapore GP. I wouldn't be doing this podcast anymore, that's for sure. Okay, here's how it works. You download BetMGM app, you sign up using the bonus code RED200, deposit at least $10, and place your first wager on any game, any sport, anything. You will receive instantly $200 in bonus bets regardless of the outcome of your wager. Just make sure you use the bonus code RED200 when you sign up. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER for Colorado, D.C., Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, New Jersey, Nevada, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 467-369 for New York. Call or telephone 1-800-327-5050 for Massachusetts. You have to be 21 and over to wager. Please gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP for Arizona, 1-800-BETS-OFF for Iowa, 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help in Michigan, and 1-800-981-0023 for Puerto Rico in partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use the bonus code RED200, get $200 of bonus bet when playing for your $10 wager today. Now back to our episode with Noel Miller. So 
Should we maybe get into this? We, we, we pair, we've prepared some clips that we're just sure. maybe like react to. Yeah. We've got some, uh, some want. cringy we've stuff. we got some like sure. some cringy yeah. stuff, some fun, just like. <laughs> just we wanted you to react to some stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to show me Lewis licking his lips after the shower, I'm going to be like, that's not cringe at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw you do that, the the, the, the Lewis like react to that. Did, did you get, how much blowback did you get for that? Not, not much. Not dude. much. I was, mean, I don't know if like a ton of his fans know that I tease them. Right, right, but, right. But, you know. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah. we don't. Don't go look that up. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck with the w- Team w- LH, w- man. Don't talk with the Team LH. We got um. Did you see this picture? No, no. It's, uh, this was like this. This is just George him, showing this, off his this, uh, little workout routine, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> snack routine. Yeah. So this is some buy bait right here. Mm-hmm. You could be on either side of the fence, and you're uh, you don't like that one, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's well. He it's like it's like there's so many thirst traps, but then like George Russell was we'll like yeah, he's, he's doing them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he kind of doesn't know. Like Gasly, yeah. Yeah. amazing oh, thirst trap. Yeah, yeah. He's just always just like it's just like his back. Yeah. And like people are just like he knows the female gaze, like yeah, he yeah. fucking gets yeah. it. And like, or when he takes a picture of himself on a boat and he just has his hand over his balls. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> but who is this for? Yeah. Yeah. Who but, is this for? I don't think his management knows either. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> this is, oh, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to like think like what the thought process was behind <laughs> this. Like, what did he think this was? Like, yeah. what did he think this was cool? <laughs> He's like, they don't know the type of training we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As he like, you know, yeah. completes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My God. They don't know how far I gotta arch my back. Yeah, bro. Jesus Christ. Jordan, yeah, man. What's yeah. what he's this is this is he might be broken. At the end of the <laughs> this was think? when he was like still on top of the world a little bit. Yeah. This was like before the last couple. He's like, I've actually outqualified Lewis to like five times before. You know what? That's what it is. Yeah. He was. This is definitely. Um, I'm the best right now. I can right. do anything right now. Yeah. Right. He got a glimpse of what it's like to be Lewis for like one month. Yeah. And well, he's he, posting yeah. weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm gonna do it differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Lewis is like, Let me go ahead and take that back. From yeah. <laughs> Lewis, I think Lewis. He saw was this. having that like machine gun Kelly. I'm dating. You know. Yeah. Uh, Megan Fox. <laughs> Megan Fox for one yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like got too flew too close to the sun. Wait, I'm just thinking how. Like Nico and George, how they're probably just yelling at their phones after like losing to Lewis after maybe getting close. And then the next day, Lewis just posting something where he's shirtless and he's like, always follow your dreams. (laughs) (laughs) Don't let those, you know, who hate on you hold you down. They're like, you motherfucker, shut up. (laughs) I'm running with the penguins out here. (laughs) I'm running with the penguins. All right, we can, we can, uh, next one. We can keep it rolling. (laughs) Okay, this is just this is a good this one. This is just beautiful. A river dirty, el prossimo, and o. <laughs> you nailed that, Zach. Zach, Zach Brown's speaking Italian. You nailed that, brother. Yeah. Wait, let's hear that one more time. A river dirty, el prossimo, and o. Sulle piste. Wow. Damn. Is this some glorious bastard? What are we watching? <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Yeah. yeah. Truly. Yeah. Truly. Yeah, seriously. Wow. What I don't understand is he has a PR person. <laughs> yeah. He has an, a Megan equivalent. Yeah. That's with him. Yes. Why did they think that this was a good idea to release? <laughs> you know, so, sometimes, you know, I think as PR, you probably try your damnedest. Right. You're like, don't do this. <laughs> yeah. And Zach is like, I don't know. I think I'm kind of. It's kind of attractive when I say it that way. Yeah. It's kind of endearing. Yeah. The way I say it. You see, like, run it back. Yeah. Reva Dirt. Yeah, let's Reva, keep it. Yeah. Let's, let's abide. Reva Dirt. Reva Dirt. Yeah. Reva Dirt. It sounds like he's literally trying to yeah. sound like a fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah. Yeah. His shit eating grin at the end is bon great, too. Yeah, enough. he's so fucking pumped. He's, he's like, so yeah. into it. He's like, I am crushing yeah. it. Not an ounce of self doubt in yeah. his mind. Yeah. We met, um, oh, what was her name? Um, Lynn St. James. Yes. Lynn St. James is like one of the only women who like competed in the Indy 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like started, I think qualified fourth at one point. Yeah. She, we, we, we talked to her in Indianapolis and she talked about how like Zach Brown, she was like, I remember she was like, oh, like 
You mean Zachy Brown? Like I know him. Like he used to like was like a used car salesman vibe. Like yeah. within the American motorsport world. Wow. He would like provide cars for like, you know, people trying to like break into the sport and he was always like trying to sell you something interesting and he had like this like and he had his own line of cars and he called them like the zack attacks or something yeah like i mean he is like a like a buddy garrity like yeah you know like friday night lights like texas dude who was just like made it all the way to the top i just i guess not questioning anything that he ever does yeah, yeah. wow yeah. yeah, that'd be so funny if this was all a ploy to just turn McLaren into Zack Attack. <laughs> Zack <Zach> Attack, <laughs> like Musk with X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Musk's for for thirty years have been trying to make yeah. X happen, happen. happen. Yeah. and now he's yeah. like running Twitter into yeah. the ground. He's like X. Yeah, <laughs> he's like come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> this is my opportunity. Dang. All right, let's keep let's keep it rolling. Oh yeah, you we go, you've seen this picture. <laughs> oh, oh Christian, That's look Christian at you, Horner. man, naked. being sexy. Christian Horner naked on the car. What year was this? This was probably yeah. To like say 90s? Ryan, <laughs> I think Early. yeah, like nineties. <laughs> like Ginger Spice was literally like touring the world <laughs> at yeah. this point, yeah. and he's like naked on this car. You'd have never guessed that he was gonna bag <laughs> Ginger fucking Spice. Nah, man, you would based on this image. Yeah. Oh, you think he's he's got some riz in this picture? I mean, you got something to want to do this. You got balls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got something. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Christian. Very yeah, nice. Yeah. Congratulations, King. Yeah, let's keep going. Well, this, this killed me. Yeah. yeah. All season. <laughs> All season, this is killed This me. is, the, for, for the list, this is George. George's, George's pose George. on the opening. Yeah. Bro, it's so funny how not subtly they acknowledge, like, the uh all the fan cams and stuff in the new intro. Yeah. Like, for this this year, or was it last year? When did they start doing this LED wall? I always get time. Oh, I'm up. not sure when the LED wall. I know, I, yeah. I know this is from this year, obviously, but. Yeah. I can't remember if it was this season or last. It has to be this season, right? Probably. I, I'm not sure. Wait, what do you mean? What, it, when they why? started doing the LED wall, that's yeah, when yeah. they started having them do like all the boy band stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Charles Leclerc, like, look. Yeah, yeah. Them. Before that, it was just like their heads. You know, they're just kind of turned. Yeah, yeah. Right. Too. Yeah. But then they, like, <laughs> and then they have Lewis standing there, like, <laughs> like, like pulling on his sleeve like yeah yeah i know you want to take this off you know like yeah. look at like, my forearms yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> aren't they so strong yeah the charles thing yeah gasly it's all like this sensual yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah man this shit it kills me every time <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful i mean yeah the memes of it he must have known it's like yeah it's like if you do this once they're gonna use it that's the thing it's like but you know what bro he was like i did it they chose this one oh, okay yeah he he was part of the decision making process he's like <laughs> definitely. but i think they hyped like the hype going into this season right i think when he did this he's like this is gonna look great when i'm beating lewis <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like yeah nah, bro. Was, he nah, called yeah. his shot with that one. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah he's like he's like i beat lewis in the point yeah. last year yeah. i like it because it's like i'm like jesus yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Man. Uh, that's I don't know. Now he's he is dying on the cross. Yeah, he yeah. Is. <laughs> for, for, for nobody but himself. I don't know whose sins he's dying for, but yeah, he's definitely yeah, on the dude. cross. Yeah, <laughs> there was a bunch of other people that were crucified yeah, that yeah, were in Jesus. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's gonna carry his fucking <laughs> yeah. car across was, the finish yeah. line, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's yeah. let's keep it. Let's keep it. Oh, this uh, is this, okay. This, this is, wait, can we maximize this? Yeah, before let's, you hit let's, play, let's blow this up. I got lucky. This is yeah. Let's this play this. Him, this Mr. is Nick DeVries in the warm up car. Which race was the this? parade car in Miami? I was gonna say Miami. Had to be. I got lucky. <laughs> oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The moment at the end. It's the it's moment like, at the end. Oh, he says, "I got lucky," and then he's like, he realizes. I got oh. lucky. <laughs> Oops. He's like. <laughs> That's the Matt, that's the Ben Affleck moment when uh, he's with Henry Cavill and it's like hello darkness my old friend. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, oh my god dude the, that her face feels like sorry yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez>. but no <laughs> Look at that is she looks the, the pity that she's looking she's like oh you small man <laughs> 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 oh dream big little guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got lucky. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, brutal. dude! It feels like it feels like it feels like um, when you're at your bar mitzvah and you get like the cute dancers with you. <laughs> yeah, 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 literally. <laughs> Nikki's bar mitzvah. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, the journey from like the last two seconds of this video from the shit eating grin <laughs> to just death. <laughs> dude, you cannot. Uh, it's brutal to be a Formula One driver and have no riz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get a girlfriend. I know. Like, if you're rizless, you got to get out of there, dude. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Fucking oof. Yeah, yeah. That's but, really. But tough. it's crazy. Like, do you do you think Max has riz? Because no, that's why he has a girlfriend. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He locked. But it don't down. you have to have some riz to get a girlfriend? Not, not, a, not if you're Max. No. <laughs> no. I think I think Max's riz is like. I like your face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh wow. Or do or do, or do you think or do you think he was just like in the Kvyat spot and, mm. and Kelly's like, all right, so I mm. guess you're mine now. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I think she has a type. Yep. You have to win. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, no, I don't you know. I think uh yeah, I think I think Max is probably He's probably charming in a like a weird way, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think he's got like, and he's fun, and he's like so honest that there's something mm. about that that's like he's not like he's not a game player. Yes, because yeah. like because Devries, it's like he's awkward. He's trying to have riz. Yes, yes. And there's he's Max is so honest with who he is that yeah. there's something like appealing about. That. Yeah, like and he's got him his trying own to do jet. that is and like you're not even yeah take your L yeah just be if he was just like. I don't yeah. know what to do. You th- that would be like if he had song. that would be the Michael Sarah yes. right? Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yes, exactly. You just own the Michael. Yeah, right. but Nick, man, I like that's like a peak redditor thing to say. I got lucky, <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got. Um, <laughs> you seen Roscoe's? Well, there's the Roscoe account, which yeah, is, you know, yeah, few pics of the of the dog. But then it's if you know what's happening with the captions. Um, I know he's writing them. Yeah. yeah. So hopes yous have a good day. Yeah. So he always adds s's to the dog. Yeah. This one I'm gonna forgive because uh, I can't judge because right now I will use the low the lowest vocal tone I have. But as soon as I see my dog, yeah, I'm talking like an absolute cheese ball. Totally. Yeah. So I'm gonna give Lewis a pass in that. But you don't. You don't. Do you create an Instagram account for your dog? If I had fifty million dollars a year, I think I'd feel licensed to do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. okay. You, you can, no, I, it's fine if you don't like it. I'm just saying I get I get it. the headspace he's yeah, in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's obsessed with his dog. Yeah. yeah. And people and, and and if you watch anyone who's obsessed with their dog, it's yeah. like oh they're, they're they're having a personal moment in yeah. in public. Yeah. Yes. And that's and now he's doing that. This Instagram's the next level. But yeah. there's something. But we can say uh, you guys don't want to do. It. You've already had your shot. You you're trying to keep your head down. I understand. <laughs> but we've talked about this before. This the stuff with his dog, and like the gratitude and like you can do anything. It's like that's like the chugiest thing about him. Oh word, yeah, so yeah. chuggy. Like I mean, as a millennial, he yeah. shows his millennial. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah. He is yeah. live laugh love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I think the funniest part is like. He's like I, I I think that's just a product of money, right? I think if Lewis was in a shit car for his whole career, he would not be live laugh love. Totally right. I think he, that we might get serial killer Lewis. <laughs> right. You know. Right. Like, Lewis fourteenth again. How do you feel about that? He's like, dude. You know, I, I could right. picture him expressionless. Like the engineers will see. Yeah. Right. How I feel about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I mean, like it's like you know why are all these athletes. Um, you know, when they interview him, it's like I just want to thank God, and it's like one yeah. of these athletes. It's like, well, if I could run a four two forty and yeah. jump through the gym, yeah, yeah. Like, I would be religious. Yeah, too. Like, yes. I, I would believe yeah. in God as well. Why yeah. wouldn't you? But you know what, though, he might be chuggy as well. If if, if he was on bottom bracket, Ima- imagine that, dude, mm-hmm. Fit a fifteenth place. Re- Reno Lewis, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 and all his posts are like. The demons come for you, but you have to fight harder. Yeah, it's yeah. all like weird, cringy Jesus yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. Right? Like every day is a struggle. Yeah. yeah. But with him, I personally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if he had Nico Hulkenberg's career. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Just how, posting weird images of him, like doing pull ups. Yeah. Like, yeah. we can't stop. Yeah. It's, like, it's a grind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for others, it's easy, but not for me. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's keep let's it. Uh... it. But I'm going to double down on his millennialness because there's not many of us left out there. Yeah. Right. Like doing it like him. We need him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This, Corn- is, this is some beautiful millennial stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's see it, dude. All right. 
Well, he's this starting is... off. He started the, the the camera angle is perfect yeah. at the start. Just full crotch. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're all well. Um, I just wanted to uh, send you guys a message of positivity. Come on, and, man. Um, <laughs> I wanted to share a quick message with you. He knows what um, he's doing, bro. <laughs> a couple years ago, I got home to this beautiful gift of these two guitars, and I had n no idea who they were from, where they came from, or why they were in my apartment. And it wasn't until like a year, about a year later, that I discovered that David Bowie had sent me these guitars, <laughs> which was before his death. Um, it's so sad that he's passing, and, and I, I'm so sad that I never even knew there was no letter or message with it um but i but later on we found out from someone that he um I, they said that he was a fan which i find it so hard to believe but um <laughs> my dad would always tell me about a story that he he had met him in london somewhere on the street and just managed to say hi to him this is years before we even got to form one and said that he was one of the nicest people ever. Um, but Dude. of course, a huge fan of his. And I just wanted to share with you this beautiful guitar that that he had sent. Dude. Um, <laughs> stunning. And this is like one of the first times that I've actually really Bro. opened it and tried playing in it. Um, yeah. But just... Uh, this is the best part here. I wanted you to know it's these crazy things that happen and these crazy ways that we collide and <laughs> impact people that we don't Bro. even realize we've impacted so Bro. keep shining your light keep staying positive keep believing and Dude. keep uh being great because <laughs> each and every single one of you is great and unique in your own way <laughs> <laughs> to, to what you can do so, um, happy weekend bro yeah <laughs> Lu lewis is like it they're you know like children of men <laughs> like He's like the last eight-year-old on the planet. Like, <laughs> like his whole aura, bro. Like this guy is the center of, like in his life, dude, this guy is the center of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine, dude, David Bowie dying and then your assistant's like, you know he sent you the guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> right, like an afterthought. Yeah. You sent us that fucking guitar. Yeah, yeah. And it's fucking David Bowie. And, mm. then, you, and, then, and then you hop on Instagram and you're like, so shout out to David yeah. Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> he said his fucking name hey, wrong. Dude. To 80 million people. <laughs> Rest in peace, David Bowie, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sucks that happened to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Preach, though. Didn't even realize that he had sent him. Didn't give a fuck about him a year ago. Yeah. And then he was like, and then he tries to make it this wider message. Yeah, he's like, like just stay positive because we all connect. It's like, no, no, David, you're really famous. David Bowie <laughs> sent you a guitar. You forgot about it. And now he's dead and you're just trying to cover. But then he's trying to make it. It's like, look, we're all. And, and this well, is a story. We're all connected. This is a story about how we're all connected. We all collide. We collide. Yeah, dude. Collide like, 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 like Adam. Somehow like, find bro. you like, and I I love that it's also like, um, he's like, he's like, just stay positive and like, maybe David Bowie will send you a guitar. <laughs> yeah. like, no, dude. I can that be as you'll... positive as I want. David Bowie is never sending me a fucking guitar. Bro. Yeah. Lewis is like, dude, he's, yeah. Um, this life, man. I'm... <laughs> I'm not jealous, but I want to, I'd want to experience it for like 72 hours. <laughs> like, I right. feel like his life is like he's walking on water constantly. Dude. Well, he probably gets so much shit that like David Bowie like fell through the cracks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 it's a testament to how, how much free legendary shit. Yes. he is. Yeah. That yeah. he's like. <laughs> the two guitars. <laughs> <laughs> dude you know someone like some fucking nerd like music nerd right. watching this video was like <laughs> <laughs> just seething because he's like slightly before his time yeah yeah oh, it's yeah 64 yeah. less paul yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he's not even using it yeah. motherfucker doesn't even know what he has yeah, he's like i've been playing it i'm like that thing has never been played nah, that thing bro. is in saran wrap <laughs> dude i mean his like man I, I it's so funny to me like when i see him do an ad too i'm like why right. <laughs> like i know he's it's like part of whatever but right. i'm always laughing at like man that guy must just get checks and he's like oh more money yeah yeah, yeah. oh awesome how yeah, much dude. money how many checks do you think are just lying around that he's never cashed P probably Millions. a ton yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. There is probably shit just sitting around. Every day. Yeah, that just, you know. It's like, I'm putting checks in the wall. They're like, that's not really how it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to open my own bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my own bank. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be different. We're going to do it different this time. Damn. All right, let's keep it. Shout out uh, Louis, man. All right, Speaking of commercials. Is, uh, I think I've seen this yeah, one. Let yeah, it rip, yeah. let this it rip. the Shell commercial, the Ferrari Shell commercial featuring Charles and Carlos. Yeah. I'm very proud to be the first Scuderia Ferrari driver to tell you about Shell 10% Renewable Ratio. Thanks. As a gentleman, I insisted that you went first. I'm proud to also be the first to tell you about Shell working with Scuderia Ferrari to develop a bespoke blend of 10% biofuel that will deliver optimum performance and help reduce emissions further. Being first isn't everything, Carlos. However, I am, without a doubt, the undisputed first to say that what Shell loans at the track, <laughs> they bring to the road. But what's amazing is that Shelby Power Race Fuel used by Scuderia Ferrari contains 99% of the same type of compounds as Shelby Power Red Fuels. And secondly, well, why don't you take second, Charles? Well, that is amazing. I know, that's why I said it. <laughs> Power, performance and efficiency. That's what Shell V-Power Fuel and our friendship is all about. Really? Of course. So then, you don't mind if I borrow your Ferrari? Not a chance. <laughs> Nailed that one, guys. <laughs> Nailed that one. Boys, boys, no notes. Wait, Check the gate, yeah. we're done. <laughs> one take. Wow. I dude. loved all the... Um, Sort of Danny Boyle like fast cuts, then to the stiffest. Yeah, right. <laughs> that wasn't helping them. Is it? Is, was this for Americans? Um, like, like where did they run this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because like, if you're gonna run it in Italy, just you can yeah. both speak Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, it's for some reason they their English. They speak very. They speak English very well. They speak but, like, way better English, English than, than that. that. Like, that's that's <laughs> this uh, 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 advertising copywriters. I want you to look at this. This yeah. is what your writing looks like. Right. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. bad. It's yeah. fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like you get like like. You get people who are used to saying copy. They elevate your shitty yeah, writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without John Hamm, this is what you have. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. I love also like if you if you scrub to like a close up on Charles Brian, he's he like the makeup that he's wearing. No, that's that's look there, yeah. there, there, there. there. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's like they've they've like yossified, yeah. <laughs> like they rosied his cheeks or something, and he looks like a porcelain doll. Yeah. But like Charles, we're gonna turn you to the precious moment you are. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These bro. are literally the most like like doted over athletes. Like argue like some of the most doted athletes in the world. <laughs> yeah, and just like the 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 rizlessness. Yeah. Of this video <laughs> well, you incredible. okay? You direct. You direct. We know this. Right. right. Little bit. How would you have? You you have to do the shell commercial, and you're <laughs> yeah, given this. How do you this, elevate this? How, what would you have done? If like I have full creative control. You know, but you gotta you gotta hit the points, right? Yeah, yeah. You can you, you can adjust some of the copy. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. You, gotta, you still it still has to be a shell commercial, right? Yeah. So the thing they're trying to convey is that their formula for right. I would have done this like I would have narrated them as I would have done like a short story about them and had like some. If this is for Americans, I would have had yeah. like some real American like voice but yeah have it. john ham do right. it and have yeah, them right. doing some cool shit yeah and then like you know maybe they race each other through the countryside and they have like at the end there's like a little tat like tit between them but they do it in italian so then like an american watches it and they're like oh man that's there's so that's like so foreign right. and so beautiful. Cool. Yeah. yeah that that i agree and right. the only thing real between them was that look when carlos Sainz shot him that look yeah like, it yeah doesn't affect their fr that felt real <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was the only honest moment <laughs> yeah. that existed here yeah. i mean it does look like they're being held at gunpoint the whole <laughs> yeah. time. it's giving hostage yeah dude <laughs> yeah i mean i guess i am proud to say that i like shell gasoline <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can I borrow your Ferrari? Yeah, yeah. Nice try, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, because there's that great commercial with um, Lewis and Fernando from when they were on McLaren together where it's yeah. like, anything you can do, I and they're just like racing. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, and, yeah. And they're not speaking. Yes. Yeah. And they just kind of get to like be yes. physical and do whatever. Yeah. Uh, all the best F1 commercials, like they're, the, uh, the drivers are never speaking. Unless exactly. Max. Oh, Max has that. Well, he doesn't speak in that commercial. Well, he speaks a little bit in the the Heineken. Yeah, you can have a a, yeah, a, a line. Bit. Well, no, right. because Matt in all the commercials, they just they also played his strengths in all the. He's just like over it in all of them. It's right. Like, like, oh, this guy doesn't really. He 
<laughs> can't stand being here. Let's yes. just use that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. You don't want Max to be like, I love this gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Also, just really funny to take two race car drivers and be like, how can we make this interesting? Let's have them talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At a gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just have them stand like two schmucks. Yeah. Like these guys, <laughs> let's have them pump. Carl's also wearing guys. shorts. Like the shorts are not doing anyone. Yeah, bro. You don't wear shorts on camera. I wonder what the context to this was. Like they had to get it in the middle of the season and they yeah. rented a gas station for an hour. <laughs> Still, man, get stunt doubles. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It's yeah. wild. This is painful. It's really yeah. beautiful. Awesome. Um, all right, now we're gonna do. This is we're gonna go into a little F one conspiracy theory. I don't sure, know if I like heard that. this one. This is this is a, a TikTok that went viral. People have been talking about this, but this kind of just sums it up perfectly. This might be the craziest F one conspiracy theory of all time. Even more crazy than Spygate and Crashgate. On the twenty second of February, twenty fifteen, Fernando Alonso was testing his McLaren MP four thirty during a F1 preseason testing session at the Circuit de Catalunya when he suddenly veered off and crashed into a wall at turn three. Alonso had to be airlifted to a hospital and suffered a concussion that forced him to withdraw from the Australian Grand Prix. This crash was seen as unusual, leading to several rumors and theories on what caused the accident. The craziest of all stating that Alonso was electrocuted. A source said after Fernando woke, he started speaking Italian and thought he still drove for Ferrari. Another source said that Alonso lost his memory and he thought it was 1995 before taking a whole week to recover his memory. This isn't even the craziest part of the conspiracy, though. After the crash, it's almost like Alonso stopped aging. This seems crazy, but there is actually evidence to back it up. Alonso suffered memory loss, so it could be possible his body thinks he's younger than he actually is. Just look at how Alonso is driving at 41. You can't say that's normal for a middle-aged man to be arguably the fastest man in F1. Even looking at these photos, you can see how little Alonso has aged. Yes, it all could be a coincidence, but there's definitely more to this story than it seems. Is it is that like a text-to-speech? I think so. Yeah. That's yeah. that like classic TikTok voice. I yeah. When people do oh, I'm, that. I'm just laughing because I can hear this out of some drunk frat dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's crazy, man. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. All right. It just, with, yeah. a, with a non authority, with yeah. Charles Leclerc yeah. reading copies. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so, all right. So they think that. So, yeah, he crashed in 2015 testing when yeah. he was with McLaren. Science was his teammate. What they said was the teams, so there was, there was contradicting statements. The team said that there was just wind and there was bad gusts of wind on that corner. Alonso did, he was knocked unconscious and they were like of the, how hard he went into the things. They were like, that shouldn't have been like a thing that would have fucked them up that bad. Mm. What he, so then he did wake up. He was like disoriented, was speaking Italian. I think he was like, he was, he was speaking a different language that I think that is like true. Uh Wow. And then what he said was like the car locked up. And so he was like kind of like blaming the car and the team was like, no, it was a gusty wind. So there was like differentiating statements between that. And then other F1 drivers were like, there's no way that he, that this happened because of that crash. We think he was like, so there was other F1 drivers were like, he was electrocuted. Wow. So that's like a real, he had to, where was Australia. there, a, where was there electric? There's like this fucking, uh, like an ERS. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm like, trying to think how, because the seat is carbon fiber. The seat is conductive, I think. Like carbon fiber is conductive. Where would he have run over like a like an electric line? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Or the car had some faulty. Yeah. Part. Like if something gets faulty, I don't know, touches the frame, it shoots up through the frame, through the seat. Uh, right. Or, and then there was, a, there was a, a photographer that apparently took a picture of him and they said that his head was slumped before he hit the wall. Oh my god. Wow. So there's like there's kind of actually something to this. That's pretty compelling. Yeah. It's compelling the fact that he was electrocuted, but what about the other half that he hasn't aged? Well, <laughs> that shit is like uh, the adrenochrome, what is it, man? Come clean, Alonzo. Yeah. yeah. How do you look like that, man? Yeah, I mean right. I, I think he could overtake uh, Gwyneth Paltrow for Oh the, yeah. Like he could start his own goop. goop. Yeah, youngest, oldest. <laughs> or or right. you know, or he's doing better than Tom Brady. You yeah. Know, you know, yeah. comfort the TB12 method. Bro. The Alonzo method. How is Tom his he's gotten younger over yeah. time. Well, I mean it's I mean if you Enhanced? look at the plastic surgery. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 People know what they're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he's he, he's living in Florida for a reason. Yeah. It's not just because he doesn't eat tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love when he tried to get that one by. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like it's actually because I don't eat tomatoes. Yeah. That's why I look like this. I like, yeah. Fuck off. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Ate a really unique salad. Yeah, with stem cells. In yeah, it. that that's interesting. I had not heard that uh, about that crash. That's really cool. Yeah. Where, where do you where do you fall on the Alonzo of it all? Um, as in, like, do I like him? Do I think yeah. he's good? I well, okay. So, you know how it goes when an old in sport when like an old dude's like i'm tapping back in yeah and everyone's like <sighs> right i guess go to the pelicans you right, know, right. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah so him coming back i was a little bit like i mean but he had been doing well obviously yeah. so it made sense like okay he's gonna perform but i did have the skepticism like ah is it just gonna be an old dude out there yeah and everyone's like yeah no you still got it yeah right, right, right. and everyone's pretending but it i mean i liked it and if they can get that car up and running again, I would love it. Because when he was like ahead of Lewis and he was mm. gloating a little bit, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. talk was good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Well, it's good either way because now now they suck and he's talking all kinds of well. That's shit. so funny too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've thrown me to the wolves with this strategy. Yeah. Yeah. And me to the lions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To the lions. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then when he when he told Esteban when when um when he was leading a race and he was like, "Tell Esteban to defend." Yeah. Like a lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. 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 No, he's he's he's, 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 my, he's my guy. <laughs> well, you were talking earlier about like the F one like villains like yeah. He was, like oh so, of course he's, yeah he's Sauron yeah to me. Yeah. Um I love his shit talk though. Yeah. Yeah. This guy only knows how to race from the lead. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and later he was like, I love Lewis. Yeah. 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 Lewis is an amazing champion. <laughs> That's why <laughs> yeah. he he's the Trump of uh shit talk as far as like yeah, F one goes. Yeah. Oh. Like he can he can he can, he'll flip flop. Big yes. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. back. So it's like there was that whole thing where he shit on the Honda engine. Yes. And now Honda's going to be Aston Martin's provider. So yeah. good. And so he, he, like, next year's like, it'd make a great engine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> GP2 engine. Yeah. And he said that in Japan. Yeah. When he said wow. that shit, it was in at fucking Suzuka. Because he knew what he was doing. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. With a samurai on his back. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 He does have the huge t- samurai tattoo on his back. Damn. And he only has one peck. What? Oh, because right. he, you have he's, gyno or something? No, it's like a birth thing. He's wasn't the birth, it? He only has one pectoral muscle. So Whoa. if you like see him with his shirt off, he's got like one big pec and just flat. Bro, he really is like built he's different. A, he's an anime Cyborg, character. Cyborg, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dang. Well, it's interesting. We we were talking earlier about like how you have to like you know it's like push with the push shoulder, with the shoulder and stuff. Like F one has power, power steering, steering. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but still, not on the way. Up. But he also he drives like the car and shit. Like he or yeah. the car. He like he he does all this other kind of stuff. Yeah. So he's like out there. He yeah, did the Indy ama- 500. Yeah, it was amazing when he got to the Indy 500 and they're like, okay, so like half these cars are closed to you because they're Honda and Honda yeah. will not let you drive any of right. their cars. Right, yeah, he couldn't drive for half the cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Honda fucking hated <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, he's he's my favorite. Um, All right, man, we got we got a couple of like, we asked some fans of any any questions. Sure, we'll sure. hit you a little, little, with a little rapid fire um, and then, you know, we'll send you on your way, dude. Get yeah, sure. back to your life. Yeah, um, yeah, I appreciate it. We've already covered half of it. We love our fans. We love the Vanka Nation. Okay, which five podcasters, YouTubers, content creators would make the best F1 drivers? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, let me think about this. This is, this is kind of deep. Yeah. This is kind of deep. Logan Paul. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I say no. I mean, he's obviously too big, but I think... Um, he plays a little too much into the drama. I don't think mm. you know when you're F one driver, you got to be. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm really thinking of the game. I'm thinking of the most. Honestly, probably take like the top five guys who report <laughs> on iRacing. racing. Those guys are no. Thinking, <laughs> you know, I'm, no. I think, I think Josh Weissman, uh, mm. he'd do well as a Formula One driver because he's got motherfucking work ethic. Mm. So, but he can handle pressure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I would I would rate him up there. Um, the, here's the thing, man. I don't interact with a ton of content creators, right, right, right. so I don't have like five offhand that I could just, you know. I got you. And everyone I know is pretty chilled, right. and they don't really fuck with speed. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. What is what's Cody's vibe? <laughs> he does not fuck with speed. Yeah. He recently got a taste of it. Okay. He was in like a Mr. Beast video, and right. and he. But, but wasn't he a competitive diver? Like, don't you have to be kind of insane to do that? Not per se. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like that's a heights thing, but right. speed is, you know, right, right. when you're like on the limit. Yeah. I got you. You know, that's like, 
that's like peak adrenaline okay. type situation. Yeah. So competitive divers are bitches. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I the other I'm just thinking of random people that are on YouTube that I think could do it. Um, Tim Ferriss would definitely be a great mm-hmm. Formula One. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, I only race for four hours a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How I beat Formula One in one race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How I hacked being a Formula One driver. Yeah. Uh, we can you know what, dude? I think you'd be great. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I suck. No, no, just so I could throw a bomb in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like, oh, that's that's a nice lie. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you like, didn't even take that as seriously. No, no, he was no, like, no, no, that's a bit. <laughs> like, yeah. Um. All right. Which? Jo- which? Okay. No. Jojo Siwa. Okay. Uh, no. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Which F1 drivers would make the best? Like podcasters, YouTubers. Yeah. Oh, who, oh, who, you're, oh. who you're adding to your empire? Yeah. Like, if to hire. One. If I'm making a podcast, um. I mean, Alonzo, easy. I would, I would, he'd be so inflammatory. Yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just interview him about rivals and people and right. get all his talk un- shit. Yeah, unfettered opinions. I get that. And then uh, who else do I think is good? Um, I think Albon would be weirdly. He's always great whenever they pluck him for like, like t- to be a talking head. He's got charisma, man. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. see the video with, with, um, it was Lando, George, and Albon. Oh yeah, yeah. A- Albon was coming in with the fucking zinger. Yes, yeah. he was yeah. talk. He was talking shit from the last this- place. Williams just fucking in this rabid. beautiful way yeah. too. Like it was like it was like you liked how he was ribbing you. Like yeah. you, you liked that he was like giving you shit. Yeah, he was like he was like because George was like it's a it's funny you say that, like we're we're phoning off when we're P two. And then Albon's like, yeah, Lewis is doing great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, like, cut. Like, yeah. like, George really thought he was doing something there. Yeah. Albon was like, no yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. I'm thinking, yeah, Alex and Alonzo. Dynamic duo as a podcast. Yeah. Oh, just empire. have them be a team. Yeah, yeah. And then if I have three remnant, they have to be a driver? Mm-hmm. Oh, it could be a team for Oh, yeah, someone in the space. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um. <laughs> I want to be careful, you know, so I get invited back to things. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think... Whisper into my ear and I'll scream it. Yeah. Yeah. We never get any access. I think uh, I'd build like an Eric Andre type show. Uh-huh. With Kimmy on the couch. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm loving this. You have to chain him to the couch. Who's, yeah, who's his Hannibal Burris? <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, no. Kimmy is Hannibal. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Kimmy's oh, just right, on the right, couch. Right, okay. He's like an Andy Richter type role. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we just yeah, periodically yeah. go to him, and he's just got some quippy thing to be like, I don't know who this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he's like, he's like, like uh, sharpening a knife. Yeah. He's just like, what? <laughs> oh, bro, actually, that'd be nightmare fuel. I'd do this. Kimmy and Valtteri as a podcast. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That would be the weirdest. Yeah, most awkward. Just silent for an the hour. most quiet podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep sounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, I'm plucking Lewis because, uh, dude, if I could, if I could just have him, man, I start the gratitude meditation podcast right. in a. I'd be out there in yoga clothes, like this shit's gonna change your life, yeah. and I'd be <laughs> turning him into Tony Robbins. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, be a yeah. scummy podcast manager. Yeah. We're gonna make you huge, kid. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, they're eating it up. Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating it up. You gotta, it. you gotta give the them that gratitude. The Lululemon stuff. crowd yeah. loves it. The Lululemon crowd loves it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a show there. Yeah. Um, which team would you want to be a team principal for? Ooh. Weirdly, I. Hmm. I feel like McLaren because I feel like they toe the line between like corporate and like still having a personality really well. Yeah. Um. I I do Red Bull too because like they just party and yeah. uh, they have fun. Merck, I feel like it would be so much pressure. So yeah. no, I, I, it'd be a tie between. Yeah, because I feel like with McLaren, there's pressure to make money, but not as much. And Red Bull, like you're chilling. Yeah, yeah. So, um, any favorite racing movies? Ooh, yeah. This it's Fast and Furious counts as a racing movie, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. yeah, yeah. I mean the original, the OGs. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. the very first one. Yeah. It's stupid. How many times I've seen that movie? So good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which drivers have the most BDE? I mean, uh, I'm sure you, man. I mean, I, you've definitely seen Lewis's print. <laughs> Like, I just remember, like, one morning he was on podium, and uh, my wife, Lena, was like, 
uh, she's like, is that his dick? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at her and I'm like, that is his dick. <laughs> so he, I think, by measurement, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's not a race thing. That's just like he's showing it. You're like, you're like, no, I've just seen his ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we all have. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You go to ben, yeah, yeah, you can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can find. It. It yeah. Won't take long. Yeah. <laughs> so I think just by default. Yeah. Um, and you know, Lando's trying to get in there. Right. I couldn't believe that shit with the water bucket picture. Oh yeah. right. Yeah, like yeah. He, he had his shit halfway down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and he had yeah. his print showing. Yeah, yeah. he was. And I was like on main. <laughs> on main. I have to unfollow you. This is crazy. <laughs> I never wanted to know you like that. <laughs> I don't want to know my friend's dicks. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Strangers' there, dicks, dude. fine. Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. you know? Right. Yeah. Like, I can never actually be friends with Lewis because I've seen his print. It's, right. just, it's, like, <laughs> it's over, man. Yeah. I just don't. If he DM'd you, I think you'd get over it pretty quickly. Yeah, it's, yeah I would. I'd yeah, be yeah. like, dude, you're. You'd be like, awesome dick, bro. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, nice to meet you. Nice guitars. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so well, speaking of your wife, which driver would you not? Would, <laughs> which driver wouldn't you leave your wife alone with? Um, hmm. From a maybe you can do it from either standpoint. From like a, I don't trust this guy. Like he wouldn't respect. Like he this guy. He wouldn't respect, respect your marriage. I don't. I think they're all pretty. Like they all. You know. I think they're all like in that way. So I'd be worried about that. I'd be worried about like unintended riz. Right. But I feel like Gasly is unintended Riz. Yeah. You what know? do you mean by like? Un- I think like he he's just charming, and you're like, I'll be fine. And then he's just doing things, and then your your lady's like, Why am I like? <laughs> is it hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> like why why is he so cool? Yeah. You know, like I'd be afraid of like having her hang out with Gasly, and she comes back to the house, and then she's just got way too many stories and compliments and i'm like what happened there yeah. right so you're, I think just like, you're like you're like so f- i was just thinking about something funny that yeah 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 you know yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> you're like what and she's like oh no, no it's just nothing it. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're like, it's just like you have to be there pierre's oh, is like oh. pierre's like you know pierre's like really nice hands yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know that he has nice hands <laughs> i don't know that yeah. yeah well you've never held them yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. who would you not let your sister date um <laughs> George, just because, like, I feel like he'd, you know. It's tough at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, he'd just be talking a lot, and he'd be kind of annoying. Yeah. And you yeah. have to pretend to really, you know. Yeah. Oh, good story, George. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that workout picture was really cool. Yeah. Uh, you nailed that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and this is the last one. <laughs> we, 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 this is an ongoing thing in our show. We're not okay. just coming in hot with this. Yeah. We have a ranking. We've had fans send in rankings. Usually, w- usually lesbian women who send these. In. Yeah, shout out to my lesbians. Those shout are my, out, those are my our, people. Shout out to the to to the lesbian vankas. Um, who's the best? Who's ad- the most generous lover? Yes, sure. Uh, take it. That's out a, that's a what a nice way of saying that. Yeah. <laughs> the most generous lover, I would say. You know, I think it's Valtteri. <laughs> he yes. gets the the. Babe. He's a sleeper number one. He's a sleeper yeah. number one. Yeah. Yeah, you're plugged in. You're plugged yeah. in. Yeah. 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 You're on that lesbian wavelength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are my people. <laughs> yeah, those dude. are my people. Yeah, no, Valtteri is definitely because he's got just a you know he just has a grin about him that's like uh-huh. my confidence comes from like a special place. <laughs> like, like, he works hard. He's a yes, hard worker. Yes, he yeah. bikes like his 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 girlfriend's like a professional cyclist and yeah. he just like goes to all of her fucking races. Yeah, you know, he bikes with her. Yeah, he's will like bike dirt. ahead to get the perfect shot of her. Yeah, see, you know, he's he's, he's yeah. let me make you happy. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, he's tearing that it is up. the vibe. Yeah, because all these other dudes like they're they're you know they're wifed up but it's still kind of like about them yeah their main right. character valtteri is he's a po- service king he's you, posting you could, her you, you couldn't be that you couldn't be that you couldn't have done what he did at mercedes and be main character no right. no right no. yeah yeah it's yeah. breaking george russell right now because yeah. he's main character yeah yeah that's it that's yeah. it yeah. valtteri is a very good companion yeah he probably ate out Lewis, man. <laughs> <laughs> Traditions, dude. Yeah. Traditions. Beautiful. Well, any. I guess my last question is: there any like F one opinion that you just like need to get off your chest? Yeah. Any any like hot take? Yeah, nah. this is the place to have it. I mean, it, I don't. You know, um, I don't have anything super controversial because I'm such like a dork for racing that like yeah. I'm one of these fucking passive fans where I'm like, I don't care as long as the racing's good. Yeah, yeah. So I don't really have any burning takes like that. Oh, here's one. 
Whoever builds a car that's 20 seconds faster than everyone else, they have to start 20th. Mm. Right. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. If like I, I there's some championship where if you're too fast, it like it affects you somehow. Mm. I think oh yeah, they do that in um WEC, I think. Yes, yeah. They, they add they sh- they shit they shit on the car a little bit. Yeah, so I was wait. I was thinking like that'd be an interesting constraint. Okay. If you get punishment for being too fast. Right, yes. Right. Okay, let me let me let me take this a step further. Tiny Meat Gang buys Formula One. Okay. You're in charge. Oh, You're in charge. oh let's go, bro. <laughs> You're in charge. <laughs> You're, <laughs> you know, Cody Cody's doesn't care. Yeah. He's just like, He's like you, you do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing to Make, this? Uh, what are you doing to Formula One? Making it a spec race. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Pissing You're, off everybody. Yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's just IndyCar now. Uh, yeah, IndyCar, but like I would just make like subtle tweaks. Like I'd, I'd give them the ability to like engineer some arrow, yes. but I'd, I'd put controls. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like it can only be so much, and I'm taking away power steering. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. Beef these boys up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I, w- I would think I would bring that back to it if it was humanly possible. Because I think it is, I don't know if it's humanly possible to drive that fast with, with just. Without right. power steering. I think yeah, yeah, Joseph yeah. Newgarden could do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would yeah. be the only one yeah. that could finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, or or yeah. just something to make it it's already very physical, but something to make it physically brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so you just don't want like Lando in the sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like you're taking. I, and that's guys. friendly fire. I'm going yeah. against my own kind. You know? <laughs> Thin, skinny men. I'm getting them out of there, yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I guess or. Oh fuck! This would be crazy. Just bring back manual shifters. Mm-hmm. See who's really got the balls. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To just yeah, the manual shifting is yeah. those onboards like the Senna onboards are so yeah. wild. scary. Yeah. yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah back when men were men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and what if people like died again? Yeah, that would yeah. be sick too. Yeah, get rid of the halo. Yeah, yeah. you get rid of the halo. <laughs> <laughs> and we're raising the barrier six inches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nah. Yeah. So I think yeah, I'd, I'd make it. I'd make it more of a spec race, and I'd make it more physical. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. I don't know if that's a hot take though. Um, no, I, I, we we're on that that same wavelength. I think. I think I think that's a and pretty. You wouldn't neutral. put yourself on the grid. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I do have power to do that. Actually, yeah. <laughs> if I own it, oh no, yeah, I think fuck yeah. So pragmatically. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. you, you bought you if you're if you have the, if Tiny Meat Gang gets its weight up enough to buy F1, can yeah. you buy yourself like Penske? You'll have your own team. Yeah, true. No, then in that respect, yeah, I guess I'm not being real fun about this. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in the fastest car. Right. <laughs> What's the name? Of, <laughs> yeah, what would the name of your team be? Tiny Meat. Um, Tiny Meat Racing. <laughs> Damn. Miller Racing? No, I, I probably, knowing me, I'd probably go something like fucking boring and straightforward. Amazing. Oh, uh, hell yeah, dude. Well, thank you so thank much you. for coming on. No, man, thanks for having me. Yeah, really amazing. Amazing. I hope I added something here. You no, know. you did. It was, this was great. We, yeah. we, it, this final thing you could maybe add, we start each episode with Vasap Vankas, which is a nod to Gunter Steiner, Steiner. Yeah. season one episode yeah. Try to Survive. So could you give us a goodbye, Vankas? Goodbye, Vankas. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, no, this is awesome, man. Thanks, thanks for having me. Honestly, this was this was great. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a cool thing. It's it. There aren't many Americans talking about motorsport in general, and yeah. uh, so it's, it's it's cool to see you guys yeah. doing this, man. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you so much. Thank man. you. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was a pleasure. it was awesome. Goodbye, Vankas. Goodbye. <laughs>